Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 most popular anime songs of all time. For this list, we'll be looking at the music from anime, whether it be opening, closing, or insert themes that have made the biggest splash. These aren't necessarily the best anime songs, though there is considerable overlap, just the most widely listened to. Also, we won't be including any dub anime themes, otherwise Pokemon would absolutely be on here. Number 20, Ichirin no Hana, Bleach. As one of the longer running action anime, Bleach has many popular tracks. One of the biggest hits is its third opening theme. Performed by rock band High and Mighty Color, Ichirin no Hana has an incredible ferocity throughout. The drums and vocals are fast paced, with the latter conveying both sadness and hope. <laughs> The song overall has a very unique feel, including elements of rock and metal, and even concluding with some downright terrifying screaming. Ichirin no Hana comes at just the right time to illustrate the increased intensity in Bleach, but its sound has been appreciated even by many who've never seen the show. Number 19, Departure, Hunter Hunter. Most anime feature several opening themes over the course of their runs. Hunter x Hunter got it right on the first try and didn't bother changing it. While there's some slight variations in the lyrics, but you won't see fans complaining. Sung by Ono Masatoshi, Departure is a soaring optimistic tune that captures the spirit of adventure of Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> Ono positively belts out the hopeful lyrics while the instruments conjure a relaxed yet daring vibe. Who knows if the series will get a continuation, but if it does, we can smile again, knowing that Departure will probably continue to open every episode. Number 18, Inferno, Fire Force. Much like the show it opens, Inferno is absolute fire. Performed by Mrs. Green Apple, Inferno is rife with flame imagery in its lyrics. The song has become a massive hit, even outside the Fire Force fandom, charting big and receiving plenty of attention online. And given how hard it goes, it's not surprising. The vocals hit some amazing high notes, and the guitar and drums complement them perfectly. While Inferno blazes bright and falls into small lols, ultimately it wraps up in a comforting fire that we never want to see go out. Number 17, Jojo Sono Chino Sarame. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The Jojo franchise has beloved music through and through, and while it's all popular, if we had to pick the most widely listened to, we're gonna go with its first opening. The music is a magnificent fanfare, with blaring brass instruments and thumping drums. Meanwhile, the powerful vocals by Tominaga Tomihiro Aki feel at once timeless and a throwback to classic anime songs of years past. <laughs> Sonochi no Sarame is a hot-blooded melody that feels like distilled excitement. It's no wonder JoJo fans the world over can't get enough of it. Sonochi no Sarame, JoJo! Number 16, Kyoran Hey Kids, Noragami. Arguably the sleeper hit of our list, you shouldn't sleep on Kyoran Hey Kids because it's a banger. Performed by the Oral Cigarettes, this song is a downright funky rock number. The lyrics are quick and catchy, while the background music is nearly indescribable. Have you ever heard anyone wail on a guitar like that? 
Kyoran Hey Kids gets nearly everyone who hears it tapping their toes and tapping on whichever device they listen to it on just so they can hear it again. We just want to hold your hands and just hold those notes forever. Number 15, Lost in Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen may only have one season under its belt so far, but it has blown everyone away on nearly every front, including musically. While its first opening, Kai Kai Kitan, is also a massive hit, its ending is arguably just as popular, if not more so. Lost in Paradise is performed by funk slash hip hop band Ali, with additional vocals by the rapper Aklo. This ending tune is remarkably versatile, with its smooth sound being great both to vibe to or as dance music. Lost in Paradise has garnered acclaim and attention, not just for its unbelievable swagger, but it has also inspired tribute versions as well as something of a dance craze. The song is just so blissful, we'll gladly get lost in it any day. Number 14, Colors, Code Geass. Flow is a band that always knocks anime opening themes out of the park, but Colors just might be their masterpiece. As bright and energetic as the bits of the light spectrum that give it its name, Colors is as enduringly popular as Code Geass itself. The buttery smooth and endlessly catchy vocals are pushed into the stratosphere by the brassy, exciting accompaniment. <laughs> Colors is an absolute joy to listen and sing along to year after year. It has so many of our hearts soaring that if we didn't know better, we'd think Flo had the power of Gias themselves. It's just that good. Number 13, again, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The first opening theme to Full Metal Alchemist's second outing just hits different. Its tone ranges from wistful to optimistic to action-packed, which is fitting considering the show it opens. Performed by Yui, the singer's range is spectacular, delivering mournful regrets accompanied by acoustic guitar and piano, before upping the tempo and delivering the exuberant lyrics almost faster than the now hard rock instruments can keep up. Again's popularity is no alchemic mystery, it just slaps. Plus its name is perfect too, since by the time it's done playing, you'll be eager to hear it again. Number 12, Tank, Cowboy Bebop. I think it's time we blow this thing, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Cowboy Bebop has one of the most beloved and varied anime soundtracks of all time, but easily the most recognizable piece of music from it is its opening. Performed by Seatbelts and orchestrated by the show's composer, Yoko Kano, Tank is an explosively jazzy number that's always fun to jam to. Primarily an instrumental song, it mixes a big band sound with unconventional instruments like bongos. Tank is so effortlessly cool and universally appealing that it wouldn't feel out of place in a classic noir or James Bond film. It has remained popular for decades for a good reason. Number 11, The Hero, One Punch Man. The Hero brings the hype and lives up to it. Performed by supergroup Jam Project, this song is bombastic and over the top, yet that's what makes it so beloved. Hero, 
The hero turns everything from its wailing vocals to the intense guitar and drums up to 11. It's a phenomenal song to rock out to, and judging by its popularity, plenty of people have joined the singers in yelling out the lyrics. It's honestly the perfect theme for a character as unstoppable and unpredictable as Saitama. Number 10, We Are, One Piece. There have been no shortage of straw hat shanties over the years, and yet somehow we always find ourselves coming back to its glorious first outing. Before the likes of Haki, the world government, Kaido, and Ace made their debut, there was this adventurous, uplifting song that introduced Luffy and the crew to the world. There's such a sense of optimism in the chorus, perfectly mirroring the pirate antics of the cast as they set sail. It's no wonder the anime kept bringing it back for an encore again and again. Number 9. Odd Future, My Hero Academia While there were a few detractors who didn't know how to feel when this song came out, it's since become a highlight of the series. Not only does it serve to build up hype for the battle against All For One, but Overworld's signature electronic edge did wonders for setting it apart from its contemporaries in all the right ways. Uh, the eclectic instrumentation combined with those high-pitched vocals complement each other so well that you can't help but view it as anything other than anime's very own superhero anthem. Number 8 Shala Head Shala Dragon Ball Z Before there was Rock the Dragon, there was this belter of a song that has become as synonymous with the Dragon Ball name as Super Saiyan's Kamehameha's and Yamcha's continual failures. Even after all these years, it still manages to hit that sweet spot between kick-ass and karaoke. While we got more instrumentally intense follow-ups as the franchise evolved, no DB fan worth their salts is going to deny the staying power and impact of Hironobu Kageyama's lyrical prowess. Number 7, Gurenge. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. The pedigree of Demon Slayer's openings is a lot like its animation. Flashy, expensive, then hits it out the park every time. And the genesis of that stems back to this powerhouse performance. While the vocals retain a grace and elegance to it, this is still a rock track through and through. With a chorus that hits harder than Nezuko and guitar riffs fierier than the Hinokami, it's just another reason as to why this series blew up as much as it did. Lisa does not miss. The last day. Number 6 A Cruel Angel's Thesis Neon Genesis Evangelion. Maybe if Shinji had just got in the robot and blasted out this song, his life wouldn't be a turbulent void of pain, isolation, and self-loathing. On that note, this song is crazy good. Mixed together an operatic backdrop along some good old-fashioned J-pop, and you have an unholy recipe for success. It may not give any hints as to the psychological devastation to come, but it still reaches glorious heights, keeping the illusion going that we're in for some kind of shonen mecha filled fun time. Damn you, Anno! Number 5 Renai Circulation 
モノガトリー心は進化するよもっともっと If you're sleeping on this franchise, stop it. Because there's so much crazy treasure to be found amongst its catalog of battles, relationships, and visual wonderment. s It also spits out the occasional modern classic. Bubbly, bouncy, and drenched in superfluous innocence that betrays the inner turmoil of Nadako's character. This song isn't so much catchy as it is addictive. It's no wonder that it's become a staple over in the East, one capable of filling out arenas by name alone. Number 4 Sparkle Your Name Because, of course, one of the best anime movies ever made would have a sublime soundtrack. And among its roster of gems, none hit harder than this. Bad enough that its delicate melody and soulful atmosphere will already have you welling up. But the fact this beautiful track crops up moments after Taki and Mitsuha have a traumatic moment, which is undoubtedly the most heartbreaking scene in the whole film. <laughs> you'll weep, no question, twice over, and you'll be happy to listen to every note along the way. <laughs> Number 3. Guren no Yumiya Attack on Titan. The rumbling may be dominating rock charts, and Sasakyo may still rattle in our heads, but before all that, there was this opening track, and to say it exploded across the mainstream would be an understatement. Leaning into the more shonen side of things, though not skipping out on the darkness, Link Horizon's killer song is the definition of hype, building and building before delivering on a monster filled crescendo. Maybe this is how the Scout Regiment recruited people, they just had this on repeat. Number 2 Silhouette Naruto Shippuden As expected of a former member of the Big Three, Naruto had a serious amount of opening songs under his ninja belt, but the one that seemed to resonate with long term fans the most would be this. A J Rock gateway into the climax of the Fourth Great Ninja War. The song has a copious amount of energy to it, the softer lyrics meshing seamlessly with the harsh guitar wick to create what just might be the most colorful and ambient soundtrack to stem from an animated battlefield. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 Unravel Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> A perfect example of an opening song outliving its own anime, everything about this track is just so on point. <laughs> Vocally, it's magnificent, switching between a haunting, low key whisper before exploding into a series of melodic screams that capture the anguish of Kaneki and the ghoul race in general. Splash in some stellar animation to really drive home the themes of reflections and identity, and you've got yourself something truly special that appears on just about a million TikToks, if not more. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.